point, Tom, and uh, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I'm excited about the uh, new position. How did you hear about the job? Oh, well, I, I, I saw that Coach Zebra had resigned, and I was very interested as soon as I saw that that happened. Are you still on cloud nine? I know you said this is your dream job. Are you still on cloud nine about this? Or? Oh, yeah. Every day gets better and better here. The kids are great. They, they work hard. I'm enjoying every moment. Every minute's been great so far. Have the kids accepted the change and accepted, you know, what, what you know, that there's a new, new sheriff in town, so to speak? Well, you know, they're, they're doing what it's asked of them. They're, they're lifting hard in the weight room, and, you know, that's all I can ask at the moment. I mean, the, the total, you know, to see it, whether they accept the change or not, that'll come in August. Right now they're doing what they need to do, and we're trying to get them stronger for the season. Um, what, let's talk a little bit about your background as a player and as a, a coach for the people that maybe don't know who Mark Sicily is. All right, well, I played football for 14 years. Uh, I played at Southern Columbia High School, and you know, Southern Columbia has won the most state championships in the state of Pennsylvania. And you know, I was on a state championship team in 1994, and I played in the state championship game in 95 and 96. So I had a great background of you know playoff history. You know, I was a four-year starter there. I was all state three times. So I had a great high school career. I have great memories, and that's what I want to try to bring to these kids those same great memories I have. And uh, you know, after high school, I went on to Ursinus College, which is right down the road, and I played. I started there for four years. We played in the national playoffs. I had another great four years. You know, as soon as I was done playing, I went right into coaching. I coached at Ursinus for two years, where I coached the offensive line and tight ends. And then after that, I went on to Northampton High School for a year, where I ran the offense and uh, coached the offensive line. And then uh, after that, I, I got my, my head coaching breakthrough in 2004 at Salisbury High School. And I was the head coach there for four seasons. And that's what's led me here to, to Boyertown. I know you said you, you were really excited. Why, why the excitement with going from coming here to Boyertown? Every day it gets more exciting. The community here is great. Everybody's, you know, all excited. The parents are excited. The players are excited. This is just a football place, and that's where I wanted to be. I always wanted to be at a football place, a place where football is important, and I feel like I found it. I, I like every moment so far. Has the community really, like, embraced you as a new coach? Have you been out, we've well, been out and about, and people are like, oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I met some people at the, the parents' group meetings and the BAFA meetings, and it's been great so far. That's great. To see, what expectations do you have coming in? you know, do you have for the program? Well, you know, I have high, ex high expectations. You know, I want to build a team that's consistently in the playoffs. And, you know, I know two years ago they won the Pac-10 championship, and, you know, that's our goal this year. We want to, we're going to set our goals high. You know, you know, we're not going to set our goals low. I have high expectations. I want to, we want to compete it week in, week out, and I, I feel we can do that in the Pac-10. You think there's a reasonable, why are these reasonable expectations? Well, because if you you don't accept anything but the best, you're going to be amazing. What happens? You're going to be amazed at what happens. And uh, you know, I, we're bringing a great strength program, a great speed program. We're going to get these kids stronger and faster. And, and also on top of that, it was a very young team last year, and they took a lot of lumps last year. You know, because they were young and they got a lot of good experience. And we're going to use that experience they got last year to help them uh, do well this year. That's going to be exciting. I mean, you said you saw some tapes on. on what was you know what you saw and it's got to be exciting that way as well seeing what the talent that we have back yeah there's definitely talented players back there's a lot of experience back and you know we, we got to you know every day set out to improve you know they're a year older now so we got to get them better what should the people expect you know come the fall what are they, what are they what should they expect to see when they come to the games well they expect to see a you know a multiple offense where we're running a lot of formations and we're you know we're kind of being creative and getting things done however we can you know we're going to adapt our offense to the players we have and we're going to put them in positions to make plays and we're going to try and make big plays uh defensively we're going to attack teams we're not going to just sit there we're going to blitz we're going to do what we need to do to to stop teams so we're going to you're going to see some creative game plans and you know we're going to be fun to watch and it's going to be you know an exciting season great well we wish you the best of luck and thanks for coming out tonight